I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. All right, today I'm going to do a little gameplay slash tutorial slash scoring strategy video on Gottlieb's Mars God of War made in 1981. They made 5,240 of these guys. And funnily enough, it is model number 666. It is made by, designed by John Burris. And, um, yeah, the theme is mythology. It's a wide body game. And uh, the first Gottlieb game with speech. So those are some fun facts for y'all. Uh, I am going to start by using my hands to cheat my way through the rules because I want to make sure I show off all the features. And if I just do that through my own actual gameplay, I will probably suck and not be able to show off half of the cool stuff that is Mars God of War. So, here's the first bit of speech. Hopefully that can be heard okay. So. I'm going to plunge the ball here, make the machine happy, and think that uh, human is actually uh, playing it normally, but now this is where I cheat. Okay, so there's some pretty cool rules in the game. I'll start with the basics. Uh, spelling Mars through either the top lanes or these in lanes here. You can spell your A and R down here. That advances your bonus. And once you spell Mars, surprise, surprise, it advances your bonus multiplier. Okay, that's pretty basic stuff. Um, you can see how each one of these will light a corresponding pop bumper. And with the right flipper, it rotates Mars and pop bumpers. So I don't know why you'd ever want to rotate your pop bumper lights because they're only worth a thousand points, but hey, you can and it's kind of fun. Next thing you want to do is either start a two or three ball multi ball. So if you knock down these targets, increasing your bonus, of course. Four base left, defense is destroyed. Score base left, defenses are destroyed, is what he said, if you couldn't quite articulate that. He's a little robotic. Um, so that means there's the war base there. You can lock a ball in that saucer. War base left, secured. And the machine. Shoot, for it gives you a fun little audio and the light animation. So now you can see the Stargate ramp is pointing in that direction. It's leading you that way and so is my controlled red LED bulb. So that wants you to hit the left ramp which is where the spinner is and then that will start a multi-ball. You can also just kind of cheat it and throw the ball right up in that direction and that will also start the multi-ball. doesn't matter how you get there. Stargate ramp is much cooler though. So, basically left drop targets, lights left lock, and right. Four base right, defense is destroyed. Defenses are destroyed for the right war base. So now, so I have this game set between balls, you uh, lose your lock progress. I don't know if there's a setting that actually changes that so you can keep your progress, but it's kind of an all or nothing strategy. Do you want to go for two ball, multi ball? Which actually, this is another cool rule, will give you three X scoring of the play field. Or if you push your luck and go for three ball, multi ball, your play field scoring is five X. So pretty significant. So let's uh, plunge the ball. I think extra ball will turn on once I get up to 20,000 uh, bonus. Let's test my theory here and get some drop targets, a rollover, 
there I spelt Mars again, so I got 3x, and there's the 20. Okay, so that is not the theory. My next theory is that extra ball is turned on at 4x. Let's try that theory out now. There we go. So, this is not extra ball lit. This is, hey, you have a chance to light your extra ball by hitting this lane, that war base, or that war base. So, let's hit this war base, lock the second ball, and light extra ball. Four days, right. Set your shoot star eight for diaper force. So now I can collect the extra ball either here or here. Actually I might have been able to collect it before. As soon as that light is on, that's a collect. That is not a light extra ball. That's a collect extra ball. So if I hit this target We get the cool pink shoot again insert. I like all the pink inserts that Gottlieb did in this era. Uh, okay, so now we will uh, shoot the Stargate and um, launch both war bases. So, you can see, scoring accelerator is at warp two, three ball battle. And uh, let's see what our scoring is like. I think this is a 500 point switch, so now it should be 5,000. Is that true? Or um, drop targets, uh, what are they worth normally? Oh, you can't see the score, so um, it doesn't really matter all that much, but like I haven't really, uh, you know, when I'm playing a three ball multi ball, I'm not looking at the math and trying to figure out is the play field actually 5x, but here's a, another awesome rule, and I want to test this theory out. If you um, go down the R lane, mm, no, that's not going to work right now. Okay. I guess you can't do that during multi ball. Which would be cool, because if you go down the R lane in single ball play, that ramp comes down and you have a chance to hit it for 50,000 points. So I was wondering if I could multiply that by 5x, but that does not seem to be the case. So we are at, I think, yeah, max bonus, 29,000 times 5, so I think uh, we are going to drain out of this multi-ball now. Oh, and as you notice, the pitch of the machine got higher and higher the more excited it got and the longer you play. Kind of a standard feature for a lot of games of this era, even with Bally and Gottlieb and Stern, like Meteor for example. Frontier comes to mind with the crickets getting louder and more and more obnoxious and whatnot as the background sounds. So, okay, here's this other cool feature I want to talk about the combo shot. Now, I'm thinking if this is in a tournament, this might be my scoring strategy. I've never seen this in a tournament. So, my score right now with everything that I've done is 250,000 points. So for one fifth of that, I can do in one shot the combo. So R lowers the Stargate ramp. Now here's the cool thing. I can try and hit the ramp. I can miss the ramp. I've got opportunity. It's not timed to hit this shot. But the second I hit, I miss it and hit a pop bumper, the ramp pops back up. So as long as you don't hit a pop bumper, then you have a chance for that 50,000 points. That is a really clever rule. I like that a lot. So let's actually collect that now. Lower ramp and collect 50,000 points. Should put me at about 303 plus change. So that it did. Now I think that pretty much covers 
all of the rules, unless I forgot something, which I don't think I did, but now I'll actually do some gameplay. But here, for fun, I haven't really tried this, but just before I start a real game, let's try a few cracks at shatsing this right in lane to the Stargate ramp and see if that could be a viable strat. Whoa. As long as I don't hit a pop bumper, that is live. Oh, and there it goes. So yeah, that's that would be fun to mess around with. I bet ya. The people that are, there we go. These kids that are amazing at pinball would probably exploit the crap out of that strategy. So, uh, I might as well just continue this game. It's ball one, so let's play it out now. Uh, I don't advise going for the center drop targets, it's just too deadly, but I did, because I'm silly. Um, let's go for this left shot here, it's a little bit tight, but that is my lock right now. You can always remember that when the blue light is going off. Oh, here's another, that's a rule I forgot. Spelling Mars advances your bonus multiplier. But also, just shooting the ball into the um, launch zone will also increase your multiplier. So that combo shot will give you the 50,000 and a multiplier, I imagine. You can kind of cheat your way in there. I don't know that you can shoot it direct, but let's try and cheat it. Whoa, that was close. Uh, you can really, uh, with this flipper arrangement, get away with shatting. It's uh, fairly easy to do. There we go. Sometimes it's easier to go with the upper flipper. This angle is a little tight. Alright, so I got extra ball lit and I got my left war base ready to go. I'm going to try for some 5x play field scoring here. Remember, I will lose my lock progress if I don't cash in, so it's a little risky. Nice. This is kind of like getting to the wizard mode on this game. If you can actually get the three ball multi ball, it's not easy. For me, anyway. Okay, so one Stargate ramp or a direct shot into the launch. Maybe I could plunge it and top right pop bumper will just kind of send it in there if I get lucky. Cool. All right, the money shot. Let's see if I can make it. Early, okay. I need control. Whoa. Okay, don't go early. That was a little better. Uh oh. That was a bailout. Oh, that's trouble. Oh my god. I never survived that. That's always an outlane shot. Oh, I jumped over top of the locked ball up there. Chaos. Oh my god. Come on, March. Be nice. It's getting very loud and obnoxious, so I don't know that I've heard this pitch yet. Okay, you know what? Oh, I went right through the whole friggin' uh, pitch sequence. We're back down to normal now. Let's try a post pass. Whoa. -oh. oh my god. Oh, I cheated it. Yay. down to two ball battle now only 3x scoring and you can see oh that's kind of cute 
I've got my specials lit now too, but uh, it's probably just a free game. I didn't set that to points. I wonder if I can. That would be good. Let's try and nail it though. Pretend it's a jackpot. Hey. I think I did get oh, 10,000 points for it. Yeah, I'm not gonna get away with that one without tilting. I should actually uh, let you hear the tilt sound, so here we go. Oh, that's what I'll use my extra ball for. Tilt, tilt, tilt. I thought that was very cute. I should let you hear the uh, slam tilt as well. That one's even better. Okay, so this ball, I'm gonna see if I can uh, do some shat to the ramp combo action. This shat's from the upper. No. Okay, I have one ball left in it. No, on ball two. There we go. Okay. Let's try that strat again. So I already did the multi-ball thing. Uh-oh, this is trouble. Yeah, it's a cool unique layout. You got the slingshot way up here and another one way up here. That just got caught on the mylar there. Oh, now I make the shot when the ramp is uh, up. Um, yeah, also when you hit this, I don't know if you noticed, but it's got a cool little light and sound show that goes with it to prep you for the combo. Here it is. That's pretty cool, but no cheating. Oh, you can backhand that target for an extra ball if you happen to be up there. That's pretty cool. Come on. kind of want to do it on the fly. It would be more fun that way. Rolling shots. Oh, I hit the pop bumper. This would be like a perfect strat for Z Mac, I'm sure. Because he'd be able to actually execute it. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, so. There's my pop bumper. I gotta relock or re raise the ramp. That's trouble. Okay. Don't sling me into the pops. Oh, I just did it to myself. Okay. Maybe for now I will abort that strategy because it's probably not that enthralling to watch. Hey, if I get an extra ball, see this one lit. Oh, I see the left one. Left saucer lights this extra ball. And the right saucer lights the right extra ball. Okay, that makes sense. I'm close to max bonus playing legitimately. That's kind of fun. All right, we need a war base. War base, right. Secure. So that's a lock, a special, the lighting of the extra ball, some sounds, some lights, and now that locks me out of the uh, shatching strategy because the ramp is down for the multi-ball collect. doesn't collect special, that light's special. There's me losing my lock ball. It really gets excited. It really takes pleasure in unlocking your balls. Okay, this is the last ball. 
as I'm draining, remind me to slam tilt. Four days, right? Set your. How am I gonna do that? Okay, I've actually opened the coin door. So just as I'm draining, I will uh, activate the slam tilt. Which means I won't collect my bonus, sadly, but it's worth it. Well, I actually tried to activate the slam tilt, but failed. I'm not sure what my problem was. But that was kind of cool, because the whole end of game music and all that is, uh, is pretty cool, got to admit. But I kind of cheated the first part of that. But you got to see the back box, of course. And 900. I got three knocks there, so I guess that was the high score to date. Um... So that's pretty cool, not bad. Um, anyway, I think I covered everything in that short little uh, tutorial. Hope you enjoyed.